so up to now we have seen adding the clients to domain now in the inventory list we can find out like a one system is available and the client one we added so the next one domain is the any systems in SSCM we have to install the client software to find out the inventory hardware inventory and software inventory and to manage remotely we require the client software so I'll go for one of the installation method so installing the client software manually and to install the client software manually the first thing what thing it requires means we require one role site server role is required Similarly, in a uh, Windows 2008 server, we got some other server roles are available. In SSCM also, we have some different roles are available. If you go for administration and the site configurations, so we have the sites are available and the servers are available. So right now we can see the number of the roles are available, six roles are available the component server role and like this page distribution point and the management point and site database server site server site system like this we have the six roles are available but to install the client software manually so we have the management point is there the job of the management point it can able to find out the clients it can able to manage the clients but sometimes if the management point is not able to find out the client computers we require one more role name is called as a fallback status point now we have to add the one more role name is called as fallback status point role should be added so in the administration in site configurations in servers and site system roles, right click on the server name, add site system roles. So this is your server name. So go for next. The proxy settings we don't read for anything. Go for next. So in this, select the role name, fallback status point. See the fallback status points help you monitor the client installation and identify the clients that are unmanaged because they cannot communicate with their management point. If the management point may be failure to identify the clients, then the fallback status point finding the clients and manage the client computers. So go for next. So number of the state messages, this everything make it default. So click on next. So click close. So we got the six roles now. If you say refresh, we got seven roles are available. So this is step one. And the step two now. In a SSM server, if you go for your server name is the my server, there you can able to find out your SMS. SMS and site code is India. There you can able to find out a folder name is called a client folder. So first of all, provide the permissions for the site client folder, the security and for everyone, full control. The better thing for this client folder, we can share it better way.
so we can find out the client folder by default see and the computer icon if open this here right in program files we get a microsoft configuration manager folder is there under this we get a client folder so right click on the client folder and just go to the properties and provide the sharing so click ok and this is an NTFS so everyone I given the full control already so in the client folder we have the dot exe file is called as ccm setup dot exe file this file we have to run to install the client software the step one we added the fallback status role and the step two we have given the sharing permission to the client folder now in the step three how to install the client software manually in the client computer I'll show it now I'm going to client computer so this is my client so just go to run command so double slash and your server name or you can say server IP address SSM server IP address there you can got the client folder sharing so right click there and map network drive just close it and go to command prompt now your client software is available in JetDrive. If you say DAR, we got the file name is called as CCM setup.exe file. Here you can run the command CCM setup.exe and slash management point colon so who is your management point means my server the system name and the slash when the client logged on this has to perform log on and you can type the sms site code your sms site code is india and space fallback status point which server is acting as my server actually acting as a fallback status point press enter so it will not display any result here for the client software installing or not to find out so just go for task manager if you go to the processes there is a ccm setup.exe file is running now so it will take a lot of time almost you can say some of our time to perform complete operations after this performation if you go to the control panel we can find out a new icon is available configuration manager icon will be available here so I'm passing the video now so now we're going to process all these things Now if open the control panel, so still it taking some time, so we will get a new icon also here, <coughs> configuration manager icon will be available now. So we get the configuration icon and next one if you go for the start button 
and if you go for all programs we can able to find out Microsoft System Center 2012 there you can able to find out the software center just close this now so still it's performing some operations okay and it's completed now we can go to your SSM server open the console manager and click on the SSM compliance see we get the client 1 computer and client you can say yes but for my server you can see this one none and no so after perform this only we can able to perform any other operations and you want to find out the hardware inventory of this system right click on the system name and click on resource explorer if you go for the hardware so still is not able to find out to find out this one immediately we can go for the client computer now in the client computer open the control panel click on the configuration manager in the actions button in the actions button uh, click on the hardware inventory cycle just click run on and mission policy retrieval click run on and user policy retrieval run on so better you can run the, all the actions so now we can go to a SSM server now and still it taking a little bit time and just go for refresh the client one press F5 or you can say refresh is add queue now if you go to the properties of the client 1 we can able to find out some of the information here add queue and uh, SSM site code and your IP address and the system name and the CPU platform type domain name and login name and the MAC address and uh, operating system version Windows 10 T advanced server so this is nothing but a Windows 2008 in the deployments and variables it won't display anything here now so click on ok and if you say refresh it once and if you go for the client one and go to start and click on the resource explorer and go for the hardware so we can able to find out enter the hardware and how much memory is allocated so right click here and just to go to the properties see the total memory physical memory 1 GB paging file size total virtual memory and the processors and the installed applications right now these are all the applications are installed in the client computer so in this way manually we can able to install the client software so up to now we have seen installing the client software manually we have seen this lab